how do there, chums? As I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I'm diving into Towers of Agasba and giving you my best starting tips for the game. Just the main sort of first area. Anyway, if you load into No Man, if you load into Towers of Agasba and it crashes, you need to delete a Towers of Agasba and reinstall it. They've rolled it back to a previous version. So here we go, and let's hit on up a new save slot. Okay. Okay, chums. So. Another little tip for you. If you see anything sparkling, that's an item to pick up. So there we go. We've just got ourselves a new mask there. So a little mask on the actual beach. Lovely jubbly. Right. Now, getting this thing from this mast, you don't climb the giant mast. You have to climb the smaller one. So here you go. Let's just get on over to the ship and I'll show you what I mean. Let's get out of the water and climb up here. Get up onto the actual deck. And not, you don't want to climb that one because you just fall off halfway up. What you want to do is climb this one here. And you just want to move fairly slowly because you can easily fall off this thing. It took me a couple of attempts to do this. There we go. And there we are. Then you just got to return to the island and you've got to give this to the elder. And you find him in some, some sort of like little camp site thing. He has got an icon above his head. So you have actually got a mini map down at the bottom there. And when you actually go on over, you can see there like a little faint icon above his head. It gets more orange the closer you get. Sadly, it's sort of greyed out and you can easily miss it. Now, I could have sworn he was sitting inside a little tent earlier. All right, maybe it hasn't rendered in. There we go. Okay, and after you've spoken to the elder, you're pointed back on over to the lady that you first spoke to. So here we go, let's interact with her. And then she's going to point you off to try and find the main builder. And I'll show you where you can find him. Now you are going to see things on the floor, like say this stick. And it's going to have like a little blue arrow above it, meaning that you can pick it up. Now on your way to places, be sure you're looking out for those and pick everything up that you can. You're going to need it. So there's a lot that you can resource gather. So just take your time. Stones are quite hard to spot, funny enough. And that's, you're going to need them to craft like your basic pickaxe and also your axe for cutting down trees and a shovel. So there's quite a lot of things that you're going to need to do extra resource gathering. So just be aware of that. Pick up everything on your way. You want to head up this cliff edge over here. Now it does say to press the track button on PlayStation to bring up your map. But then the map is actually on page three. It's over there. And you're heading over to this location over here. Now on this walkway through to there, you are going to find a heck of a lot of stones. Once you go past this area, stones are a rarity. So make sure you pick up all the stones you possibly can. Um, yeah, because trust me, you're going to want them. Right, there we go. Quite a lot here. Gather as many resources as you can in this first area. There we go. Now I've got the cutscene. He's going to be at the top of a mountain. You have to climb all the way up there to see him. It's not too difficult. Yeah. Lovely. Da 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 da. Up this way. Still grab resources on the way up there. Lovely jobs. I've got loads of resources. Should be able to craft all my basic rep weapons and everything I need without a problem. Sweet. Hello. You talk to him, he's going to give you your first sort of blueprint to put down your first sort of one, if you like. He's also going to give you a glider as well. So there we go. Right, so now I need to find an area to build. There's some green vegetation over there, actually. That could be quite nice. But he's pointing down here where it's, it's not very lush. There is a lake over there. Now on my PC built, I built right near there. I think I'm going to put my tree near there and then I'm going to build further away, like over, maybe over there. Let's give that a go. 
So it looks like there's some sort of already a wreckage over here anyway. I'm going to see if I can build on top of that hill there. And then I'm hopefully going to plant my tree down by the lake. That's my plan anyway. Aha, some berries in here. I'll have those. Right, so let's build on top of here. Now, it has to be quite a distance away, like a hundred meters away from your tree. Look, we've got this over here as well. Isn't that groovy? It's like an amphitheater. I'm gonna build on the outside of this actually, around, maybe around here. I think this will do for my first town here. Let's give it a go anyway. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. All right. Inadequate flooring. Something's in the way. The trouble with this is it, it moves really slowly. All right. Oh, hold on. It just flashed blue then for a split second. There we go. Let's put it there. Sweet. Hopefully, I can build the tree where I want the tree to be. Cool. Now, he's going to give me the ability to create a craft load of tools. Sweet. So he's going to give you the recipes to craft your own tools. And then you get access to the crafting menu. Now, if you went to town and got yourself a shed load, you've got... Look, I've got loads there. I'm going to make pretty much everything there. There we go. I'm good. I've got all those things. Yeah, they're all done. And I think I've got quite a lot of these stuff to actually hand in. Well, I've got the thatch anyway. What I haven't got is the wood yet. I need to go cut down a load of the the larger trees that you can see. Look, there's a whole load of trees just over here. So it's probably a better place to put this, to be fair. Let's head on out over here anyway. Bam, bam, bam. More berries. We're going to need those in a bit after we put down the tree. Nice. And let's go and hackle these trees down. Oh, some more berries over here. Nice. Ah, more berries over this way. Now you can you can ransack the berries twice. Sometimes. Right, here we go. Let's head on over here then. And let's put on our axe. Harvest. Zumba! That's gonna give us some wood. Whoops, didn't mean to climb that. Now, I can't find ways to actually repair items. If I do come across a way, I'll be sure to do a, a future video on how to you know, look after your materials and things like that. There we go, we're getting the wood. Timber! Now, to get resin... There's a special type of tree, but you have to plant the tree. So we're going to have to do a different sort of side quest in a moment. You can only get so far with this quest. Right, so we've got all the wood now, I think. Just in case, I'll just hack down a couple more trees. But I think you get the idea. And you have to harvest these trees using the square button. Don't just use R2 to swing at the tree with your axe, because that doesn't do anything. I might as well. I might as well go to town. I mean, look, see, that's R2. That's the difference. When you get near it, you just press square. You'll see that you can harvest it. There we are. There we are. Right, we'll head on back on over to the um, the base. I'm going to pick up a load of resources on my way there. Because why not? 
Okay, now I've got the wood. I'm just going to turn the wood in over here. The centre point. And yep, turn it on. And that's going to grow a little larger. Sweet. Done. Right, now we need resin. Which is the last one to get. And we need to go speak to Powell. And Powell is um, the plant expert. There he is on that mountain over there. Let's go see him. There he is, all the way over there. And he's denoted on the map as well. So you can see him over there. Anything with a star on is your next mission. This guy's probably my favourite character. He's really animated. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> okay, so he's giving you that seed. Now, the seed that he gave you looks nothing like the seed inside of your inventory. And make sure you ask him about resin. Okay, he's going to tell you how to do resin. So, yeah. So, what you need to do is plant your colossal tree. Once it roots, you should be able to then plant some more seeds. And that should produce trees that you can get resin from. It takes a little while to get resin. Cool. Make sure you exhaust all of his options and learn everything from him. Because when you come back to him to talk to him later, he doesn't repeat any of this. Cool. Take it all in. Okay, so when you find where you want to place your seed, um, what you need to do, you need to go into your actual menu here, and that's the seed. It looks nothing like the one that that guy had in his hand, right? Right. I'm going to stick it about here. Lovely. Hop a chow! Done, done, did it. Sweet. Okay, now that's that's pretty much the basics of getting started in a roundabout way. However, I will show you the missions for the tree as well, because we need to get the resin to complete the actual base. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so these are the missions that we're going to get. Feed the creatures, so you just need to hold berries in your hand and throw them at them, which I'll show you in a moment. Plant some temperate seeds, which you actually get the temperate seeds from climbing up this tree, which I'll show you in a minute. And you can see there, for whatever reason, it says fully grown plants in the ecosystem, 7 of 12. Apparently I've already done 7 where I've chosen to plant this, which has made things a, a heck of a lot easier, which was a bit bizarre. Okay, anyway, to get your first lot of seeds, just climb up this, go to the top, and you should be able to pick up some seeds. Now I've only managed to pick 3, which is fine. We'll have to climb back up there in a minute when they've um, regrown. So if I head on over here, pick these up, and I'm going to put one there. Lovely. You've got to plant, well, five of these. So I've only got three at the moment. I'm going to keep them quite near to the tree. Okay, and let's climb back up. Because these are the sort of... The actual trees that grow from these are the ones that you're going to need to actually harvest to get your resin. Hopefully there's one more at the top and that'll make the five. Climb! There we go. We planted those. Sweet. Now, you should also have some other seeds on you, like this. So I'm going to use some of those as well. I'm just going to plant a couple of these around here too. Now, they take a little bit longer to grow. Okay. We'll plant two of those ones. Then we have got another... Yeah, 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 yeah. We have got another one there. Common seed, common seed. They're, they're the same. You can only put them in a stack of 30, though. So that's all cool. What have we got here? We've got a ripe seed. Let's, uh, let's pick that one up, then. And let's uh, stick that one somewhere, too. This ecosystem can't sustain any more plants. Well, sometimes if you go the opposite way, look, we've got a tree that's grown already over there. 
I find sometimes if you go completely the opposite way, sometimes that, that actual message disappears. Not always. But sometimes it can. Okay. I think that's about it. Fine. Pokey poke. Next, we need to cut down this tree. So let's get my axe. And that's going to give us the resin. Now, we only want one resin. So here we go. There you go. Done. Now we've got the resin. Cut this down as well. Goodbye, tree. Sweet. There we go. So we've got our resin. We can head back now and we can grow that. But before I do that, I'm just going to get one more seed up here. And I'm going to plant that out. Since we cut down a tree, replant a tree in its place, you know. And I'm going to be quick and I'm going to just pick up this one as well. It's not going to let me do it. Too many plants sprouting in the ecosystem. Fine. All right. Well, now I'm going to head back to the base, which is all the way over there. Oh, yes. Yeah, another thing. You can put things on this radial if you, if you wish as a quick launch, like your spades and your axes and all that sort of stuff. OK, now that's all your base missions done. Now they're going to try and send you off to build a bridge, which I'm probably going to cover off in my next episode, not in this one. We'll go back to the tree in a bit and we'll finish off the tree. OK, so what you want to do is head back on over to the flora guy. You know the guy that got super excited? You need to go tell him that you've planted the tree and tell him what's going on. He gets, he gets super excited yet again. I think that's him over there on the hill, isn't it? No, nope, that's somebody else. OK, so I need to find where he is. So there you go, here's the map. And there we go. So I'm going completely the opposite direction from him. All right, so he's somewhere over there. I don't know when I find him. OK, so he's no longer on top of the mountain. He's actually inside the building after you've fully done it. So, yeah, I went looking for miles. Sweet. He gets very excited. Just go for all of his options. Make sure you exhaust all of them. And he gives you a special creature scanner. OK, there we go. It's going to give us this observing thing. We've got to observe three different types of animal. OK, so just press an R3 to use your Shimo scope. And it looks like this. There you go, look. I found a creature already. Just don't startle them. There you go. Now, you can actually sort of crouch. And that doesn't startle them as much. There's, there's, oh, I found another creature over there, I think. Oh, no, that's the one we've already got. That's the one we've already got. OK, right, well, let's head back on over towards my tree. And hopefully we'll find some more creatures over there. We've also got the mission to feed creatures anyway. So, yeah, let's head on back over. And we can see lots of trees have now grown. We don't want to cut down too many trees or else we'd lose amity points. And here you go, look, I found an injured creature. So I'm going to try and fix him up a bit. We haven't got any coal. I don't know how to actually make coal, so that could be hard. OK. Right, well, I, I can't really help this guy. But what I can do, probably, is scan him. Since he's a bit broken and not going anywhere. That's probably the easiest creature to have found. There we go. Right. Now I can get myself some food. This. And what you have to do is hold down L1 and press R2 to throw it. I don't think the sick creature is going to eat it, though. Hopefully we'll be able to spot some more creatures running around here somewhere. Oh, I hear something eating. There we go. Something just something just fed, anyway. Oh, there we go. We've got another little creature there. Sweet. We can pick that up. Cool. And uh, let's have a look for some more creatures. Is that one that I've already scanned? Oh, no, it's, it's a new one. There we go. And that's all three creatures scanned. Freaking nice. OK, if we talk to this little chap here anyway. Sweet. Creatures fed. We've only fed one so far. No. Seeds, amity, I'm good. Yep. Sweet. So I just need to feed some more creatures. OK, so spotting them. There's one over there. It doesn't matter if you feed the same type of creature more than once. We've already got that one scanned, so that's all fine. They're, they sit still while you're um, 
while they're feeding. So if it's a creature that you haven't got, try feeding it so it doesn't run away. Right, I think that's my last creature fed now. I threw all my berries everywhere, so there we go. Let's head on over. Let's see if we can now do that. It's a shame I can't... I don't know how to make charcoal yet. That'll have to come in a future video. Sweet. That's it. Done. That's everything done for this chap. Yes, I did. I guess. Sweet. And, yep, turn in the amity. And now the tree's going to grow. I believe. There we go. Now it's a case of just doing missions for the tree, for your base, rotating between the two. And that's pretty much my getting started tips for Towers of Agaspa. So there we go. Now I've caught up with my PC save. Now I can push on with doing some actual proper missions and doing a little bit of a playthrough. So this was just my top tips for getting started and getting you up to this point in time. Mm. If you want to see my full playthrough where I play it without any cuts or editing, I'll put a link up there and that's my PC save. Enjoy, but it was the frustration of me getting to know how to play the game as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Just